Honourable Member for New Westminster, Coquitlam. Speaker, I rise today to recognize Mental Illness Awareness Week. Nearly 6 million Canadians are likely to experience a diagnosable mental illness in their lifetime. That's one in five Canadians. Yet the federal and provincial governments have downsized institutional care while not increasing community-based services. My riding is home to British Columbia's primary mental health facility, Riverview Hospital. There's, this nearly 100-year-old facility is home to Canada's best, one of Canada's best arboretums and numerous heritage buildings. Instead of investing in this facility and supporting its development as a mental health sanctuary and residential treatment and diagnostic facility for people with mental illness, the provincial and federal governments have closed many of the buildings and allowed this facility to fall into disrepair. We know the way forward to combating stigma associated with mental illness is providing proper care. We have a, the ability to make Riverview a center of excellence in mental health and wellness in this country. Today, during Mental Illness Awareness Week, I call on the federal government to commit to mental health, bridge the gap in service for those with severe mental illness, and invest in Riverview. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Brampton West.